Ever wondered why some individuals seem to have all the luck in the world? Welcome to our discussion on the lucky person syndrome. This intriguing concept isn't about those who win the lottery or stumble upon a four-leaf clover, it's about people who have mastered the art of attracting good fortune into their lives, not merely through chance, but through a specific mindset and lifestyle. Luck, as we're defining it, goes beyond random happenstance. It's about aligning ourselves with opportunities, making the most of them, and turning the odds in our favor. It involves positivity, clear goals, resilience, and a keen intuition, among other things. You see, luck isn't just something that happens to us. It's something we can cultivate, shape, and enhance. So are you ready to become one of the luckiest people around? Let's dive into how you can cultivate your lucky person syndrome. The first step towards becoming a lucky person starts within a positive mindset. Yes, luck as we often perceive it begins with the power of positivity. It's like a beacon, radiating energy and attracting favorable circumstances. How does one cultivate such positivity you may wonder? Well the answer lies in a few simple yet powerful techniques. Let's begin with affirmations. These are positive statements that help overcome negative thoughts. Repeating affirmations like I attract good fortune or I am open to success can create a dynamic change in your outlook. They work on the principle of self-fulfillment. What you affirm, you start to believe and what you believe, you become. Next is visualization. This technique invites you to form a mental image of your desired outcome. Picture yourself in a situation where you're already lucky. See the success, feel the joy, and embrace the satisfaction. This mental rehearsal primes your brain to act in ways that align with your visualized scenario. Then we have the practice of gratitude. It's about appreciating the good in your life, no matter how small. When you're thankful for what you have, you're essentially focusing on the positives. This focus shifts your vibration from lack to abundance, making room for more good to come your way. Apart from these, there are many other ways to foster a positive mindset, like maintaining a positive environment, surrounding yourself with positive individuals, and practicing mindfulness. The key is consistency. It's a journey, not a one-time event. Now, you might think, is positivity really that powerful? The answer is a resounding yes. Numerous studies have shown that a positive mindset not only improves your mental health, but also boosts your physical well-being, increases your lifespan, and enhances overall life satisfaction. More importantly, it's a magnet for luck. So, it's time to harness the power of positive thinking. Embrace affirmations, visualize success, and practice gratitude. Start today, start now. Remember, your mindset is the foundation for attracting luck into your life. Now that we have our mindset in check, it's time to set clear, achievable goals. Have you ever set out on a journey without a destination in mind? Just like a ship without a compass, it's easy to drift aimlessly without a clear goal. Goals are the compass that guide us towards our desired outcomes. They provide a sense of direction, focus and a clear idea of what we want to achieve. But how do we set effective goals? Enter SMART goals. SMART is an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. When setting goals, being specific is crucial. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, try saying, I want to start my own business in three years. This gives you a clear target to aim for. Next, make sure your goals are measurable. This means setting tangible targets that can be tracked and evaluated. If your goal is to start a business, a measurable goal might be to secure five clients in the first six months. Now let's talk about achievability. It's important to dream big, but your goals should also be realistic and attainable. If you've never run a mile in your life, it might not be realistic to aim for a marathon in a month. Relevance is also key. Your goals should be in line with your broader vision and values. If your dream is to be an entrepreneur, then starting a business is a relevant goal. Lastly, make your goals time-bound. Deadlines create a sense of urgency and can spur you into action. So instead of saying, I'll start a business someday, say, I'll start a business in three years. Remember, setting clear goals is not about limiting yourself. It's about giving yourself a clear path to follow. It's about turning your dreams into actionable steps. It's about being the captain of your own ship, steering it confidently towards your desired destination. And as you navigate the waters of life with your goals as your compass, remember to enjoy the journey. Setting clear goals gives you a roadmap to your success and happiness. Goals are just dreams unless you take action. This statement underlines a crucial aspect of our journey towards becoming the luckiest person alive. It's all about taking consistent action towards achieving your goals. You see, having clear goals is just the beginning. 
the real magic happens when you start moving step by step towards those goals. Imagine your goal as a distant mountain peak. You can see it, you can visualize reaching the top, but it remains a dream until you start climbing. Each step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to the summit. And it's not going to be a smooth journey. You'll encounter rough terrains, sudden storms, and steep inclines. This is where persistence and determination step in. They are your unwavering companions, carrying you forward, even when the going gets tough. So, let's lace up our boots and start climbing. Remember, action is the bridge between your goals and their realization. Luck often comes in the form of opportunities. It's up to us to recognize and embrace them. This is a fundamental truth in cultivating what we call the lucky person syndrome. It's all about shifting our mindset. We often see challenges as roadblocks, but what if we could view them differently? What if we could see them as stepping stones leading us to our ultimate goal? It's a profound transformation, isn't it? This shift in perspective opens up a whole new world. Suddenly every challenge becomes an opportunity for growth, each setback a chance to learn. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Everything becomes clearer, and the path to success is illuminated. And it's not just about challenges. It's also about being open to new experiences, to stepping out of our comfort zones, and to welcoming the unknown. In the grand scheme of things, every experience, every interaction, every decision, it all counts. It all adds up to shape the reality of our dream life. Every opportunity, whether it leads to success or failure, brings you one step closer to your dream life. Luck isn't a solo endeavor. It thrives in a network of strong relationships. Let's delve into this, shall we? One might ask, why is networking so crucial? Well, the answer lies in the simple fact that we, as humans, are inherently social beings. We thrive on connections, on the exchange of ideas, on the power of collective wisdom. Networking is essentially about building bridges, forging alliances, and nurturing relationships that can open doors to new opportunities and possibilities. Now let's talk about the how. How can one effectively network? To begin with, it's not about collecting business cards or adding contacts on LinkedIn. It's about forming genuine connections. It's about showing genuine interest in others, listening to their stories, understanding their perspectives, and offering value in return. It's about being present, being authentic, and being genuinely interested in building a mutually beneficial relationship. A good starting point is to attend events, conferences, or meetups that resonate with your interests and goals. Remember, networking isn't confined to professional settings. It can happen at a neighborhood barbecue, at your child's school event, or even while traveling. The key is to be open, to be approachable, and to seize opportunities as they come. And let's not forget the power of digital networking. In this age of social media, platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, or even Instagram can be potent networking tools. Use them wisely to connect with like-minded individuals, industry leaders, or potential mentors. But remember, networking is not a one-time event. It's a process, a journey. It's about nurturing relationships over time, staying in touch, and offering help when needed. It's about reciprocity, about give and take. So reach out, follow up, and keep the conversation going. In the end, networking is about creating a web of relationships that can provide support, inspiration, opportunities, and yes, a bit of that elusive luck we all crave. So go out there, connect, engage, and nurture. Build your network and watch as opportunities unfold as luck finds its way to you. Remember, your network is your net worth. If you failed, congratulations. You're one step closer to success. You might be thinking, wait a minute, closer to success? How does that work? Well, let me explain. Failure is not the antithesis of success, rather it's an integral part of the journey. It's the universe's way of saying, hey, there's a better way to do this. And the beauty of it? Every failure holds a lesson, a nugget of wisdom waiting to be discovered. Think about it like this. Imagine you're a miner, and every failure is a chunk of raw, unrefined rock. It may seem worthless at first glance, but if you chisel away at it, if you analyze it, you'll find a gem inside a lesson that you can apply to your future endeavors. Now, I know failure can be a tough pill to swallow. It's hard to face the music when things don't go as planned. It's even harder to pick yourself up and try again. But let me tell you something. The most successful people in the world, those who seem to have this so-called lucky person syndrome, they've all failed, more than once. And you know what they did? They picked themselves up, dusted off the dirt, and tried again. Take Thomas Edison, for example. He failed a thousand times before he invented the light bulb but he didn't see those attempts as failures. He saw them as a thousand steps on his journey to success. He once said, I have not failed. 
I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And that, my friends, is the mindset we need to adopt. So, the next time you're faced with failure, don't shy away from it. Embrace it, analyze it, learn from it. Because in each failure, there's a lesson to be learned. There's a stepping stone that will take you one step closer to success. And remember, it's okay to fail. It's okay to fall. What's not okay is to let that failure stop you from trying again, because the only real failure is when you stop trying. Remember, every failure brings a lesson. Embrace it. Sometimes your gut feeling is your best guide. As we navigate life's labyrinth, our intuition often steps in, whispering wise counsel. This is not mere superstition, but a potent tool honed by evolution. It's our subconscious processing countless pieces of information, hinting at what might lie ahead. Consider the story of a successful entrepreneur who, despite a lucrative contract on the table, felt an inexplicable unease. Heeding his intuition he declined, only to discover later that the company proposing the deal had gone bankrupt, or the woman who, guided by a strong gut feeling, took an alternate route to work one day, thereby avoiding a major accident. These are not mere coincidences, but the power of intuition at play. Intuition is like an internal compass, pointing us in the right direction when crossroads loom. It's a crucial aspect of the lucky person syndrome, helping us make decisions aligned with our deepest desires and highest good. Trust your gut, it knows what your head hasn't figured out yet. One of the most powerful tools for attracting luck is gratitude. It's not just about saying thank you, it's about feeling it deep within your soul. When you express gratitude, you acknowledge the goodness in your life. This simple act amplifies positive feelings and emotions, leading to an abundance of joy and happiness. Gratitude is like a magnet. The more grateful you are, the more you attract things to be grateful for. It's a cycle that fuels positivity and luck. So how can you incorporate gratitude into your daily routine? Start by keeping a gratitude journal. Write down three things you're grateful for each day. They could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee or a smile from a stranger. You can also practice mindfulness taking moments throughout your day to pause and appreciate the world around you. The more you practice, the easier it becomes to spot blessings in disguise. Remember, what you appreciate, appreciates. Let's now delve into the powerful techniques of visualization and manifestation. These twin tools are like a GPS for your dreams, guiding you towards your desired destination. Visualization is the act of picturing in your mind what you aspire to achieve. It's about creating a vivid mental image complete with all the senses of your ideal outcome. On the other hand, manifestation is the process of turning those mental images into reality. It's the belief that if you can see it and feel it, you can achieve it. You're essentially aligning your thoughts and feelings with the energy of what you desire, thus attracting it into your existence. To effectively visualize, find a quiet space, relax and imagine your goals as if they're already accomplished. Feel the emotions associated with achieving them. To manifest, maintain this positive energy and take action towards your goals, trusting that they're on their way to you. Visualize your dreams, manifest your success. We've covered a lot of ground today on our journey to become lucky individuals. We've learned that the so-called lucky person syndrome isn't about chance or coincidence. It's about cultivating a positive mindset, setting clear and achievable goals, and taking consistent action towards those goals. We've talked about the importance of being open to new opportunities, seeing challenges as stepping stones, and the critical role of networking and building genuine relationships. We've also emphasized the value of learning from failures, being resilient in the face of adversity, and trusting your intuition. The practice of gratitude and the power of visualization and manifestation techniques have also been highlighted as key elements in attracting your dream life. Each of these components plays a crucial role in transforming your life, and making you a magnet for good luck. Remember, luck isn't just about chance, it's about mindset, action, and persistence. Start cultivating your lucky person syndrome today and attract your dream life.